right. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another DOY Live Live. I am Jeanette, aka Soraya. And before I get started, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. All right, you guys, I was thinking about this over the weekend. And I just want to hear you guys' uh, thoughts on this conversation. What will you do to be, what are you willing to do to become successful? Success defines differently through each individual, right? Uh, some people want to have a successful marriage, a successful relationship, um, a successful job, you know, a successful bank account, whatever your definition of success. The success that I'm speaking about today is about money. What are you willing to do to put, be, put yourself in a category of a successful person? A lot of times we look on social media to define our success. Sometimes we see people houses, you may see people cars that they're driving, you may see their lavish vacations, you may see things that people do and you are measure your success with them. You may feel like you're not at your best because you don't have everything that they have or more. Sometimes we feel like we're doing more than the individual is doing, but yet it seems like they are being more blessed, more successful. What people fail to realize, you really don't know behind closed doors what people are doing to become successful. You don't know the sacrifices that they are making. Some are good sacrifices and some are not. Some are good sacrifices and some are just not. You're not going to really hear somebody un uncut version of what they had to do to become successful. You're going to have to slow down, car. You don't know what people have to do to really become successful. What sacrifices that they have to make. What sacrifices are they willing to make to become successful? I think about my, my YouTube channel, right? And I know how I poured in and poured in and poured in. I watched a lot of people who, who claims all you have to do is be consistent on the YT, which meaning um, you know, post regularly, make sure you respond to everyone's comment, you know, and you'll be fine. It is so much more to it than just that. It's just so much more to it than just that. I am not willing to jeopardize my integrity my beliefs in the most high, um, my foundation that I'm trying to establish with my creator. Cause some people changes on, on the YT because you want this to be so successful or it don't have to be on the YT, it's in every area. When I'm talking about money perspective, you want it, you want to be successful so desperately that you will stop talking about the Heavenly Father. You will stop uh, talking positive because you realize negative brings more attraction to your channel. You will give up a lot just so you can be successful. I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to give up anything for the definition of success. Not if it's in a negative perspective. Not if it's in a wicked and evil way. I'll post constantly. 
and I will answer the comments, you know. I will do all that, support channels for channels. I'll do the necessary things that I need to do to help grow my channel, but I'm not going to stop talking about my Heavenly Father because He's worthy. He's worthy to be talked about. He's worthy to be mentioned. He's worthy to be praised. Anybody have a problem with that? That's their problem. That's not my problem. That's their problem, not mine. I love him. He loved me. When my back is against the wall, don't nobody come to my rescue and don't nobody I expect to come to my rescue like him. When you can't figure it out, don't know what's going on, when you need a healing because you're sick or whatever, who you gonna call? You're gonna call on the Heavenly Father. That's who I call on. So it's, it's, it's situations that has happened in my life that it was only through His grace and His mercy that I was able to get through it. To get through it. It was only because of Him I was able to get through it. If it had not been for Him, I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't be here having this conversation. So I will always talk about Him. I will always glorify Him. I will always glorify Him. Whether that brings me 10 views, 100 views, or 1,000 views, my glory is to Him. My commitment is to Him. My dedication is to Him. But sometimes when you're trying to be successful, when you're trying to grow, and you realize that you're looking on the social media and you're seeing what is people drawn to, and sometimes people are drawn to you know, foolery or negativity or whatever like that. You say, wow, let me just test the waters and see would this work if I put this on my platform and it works. And now you have changed your whole dynamics for the sake of success. Let me know in the comments. I didn't mean to be, I don't want to be too long winded with it, but let me know you guys thoughts on what do success look like for you? And what are you willing to do to be successful? Working hard is easy for me. I'm a hard worker. I've been working since I was 13 years old. I'm no, I'm no stranger to hard work. But I have come to grips that I'm not willing to do anything to get it. I'm, not, I'm just not willing to do anything to get money. I'm just not willing. No, I'm not. Let's put that on record. I'm not willing to do anything just to try to get it. But let me know y'all thoughts, y'all opinions in the comments below. Thank you so much for taking the time out to listen to this video. I appreciate it so much. If you can relate, you can relate. But if it give you a opportunity to just think, just think about it. Have I changed? Am I willing to do anything? You know, let me know in the comments below. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I am getting ready to go hang out with my mom, so yay me. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Always read your Bible. Seek the most high. Keep your life and health in check. And I'll check with you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.